me see how web interface work. Conga. There's an easy way <laughs> which I'm generally using, but it's not recommended used as we start in a production environment. So don't do this. Yeah, this is sort of This is Eluchi, which is a uh, uh, generally it is ca called it Congas. Uh, this is a web interface of uh, cluster configuration you can use uh, use this in a remote environment. So this the city home base cluster storage. Now I have uh, the 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 thing is same in a system config uh, cluster command and in a Congas. Uh, the basic difference is this is a chewing this is a web management interface the cluster in HTTP that there is two, two nodes RHO1 and RHO2 the service is available IP shared and web service let's click on RHO1 yeah the uh, daemon are running to cman and arch manager which is resource manager and there's a cluster team fencing is testing so this is pretty easy to use. This is the storage, my GFS storage. Uh, let's check on another job one. I create a GFS file system. Over oh, this is a cluster volume group. Uh, I have I have mount uh, uh, SCSI drive from open file to both node and create GFS shared file system and mounted shared file system on both cluster nodes. This is my GFS crew configuration. And you can see volume. This is my volume group. I have created LVM on a shared drive. Nice, cozy. Let's click on logical volume. Yeah, there's a GFS2 version 2, which is a shared file. The GFS shared file system mounted on the cluster underscore storage directory, which is located in root directory, and uh, as well as entry in the ETCFS tag for boot time mounting. Anyway, let's close this. Uh, okay, I'm going to close my query because it's taking much RAM on my virtual machine. So it's better to use this uh, command line interface. Now status is uh, the service uh, both uh, web uh, Apache service and uh, IP service running on RH02 which is node 02. So now I'm going to uh, I'm going to put down and shut down node 2. So accidentally I'm, go I'm going to shut down my node to to check whether my web service and i shared ip service migrate to node 1 or not let's see let's suspend node 2 i'm going to suspend this node uh, before suspending let's check whether my web service is running or not Yeah, now web page is available. This is my test web page. Let's minimize it. Now I'm going to down uh, node 2. I'm going to suspend this node because I have option in virtual, virtual machine and VMware environment, so I can do that. Just suspend this machine. Again, let's open a new page because sometimes Windows cache the page. so. finding my page C so now the page is not available the server node is not available but still service is not migrated to node 1 let's check whether service migrated or not C 
my service still showing it is available on rh02 rh02 node 2 why my service not migrated to node 1 because of fencing i'm using manual fencing so manual fencing need a human interaction to migrate service from failure node to uh, active node so let's run manual fencing manual hyphen n rho2 I'm going to fence rho2 through the manual fencing let's run this command and see whether my service migrated to not one or not let's check plus status still is away showing available on rho2 now it's migrated on rho1 now service available on node 1 let's check whether the web service is started or not in this node yeah the service is started and let's check the ip address also share ip address yeah the ip is showing on node 1 let's check on the web page yeah now the web my web service is available so if you if you have a hardware fencing and it's take a couple of, of seconds and minutes to migrate service from failure node to node 1. So this is a basic two node cluster which I demonstrate to you how to had cluster working in high ability environment. So thanks for joining me. Have a nice day. Bye bye.